Okay. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a nuclear reactor out of uh, some uh, some wrapping paper, uh, some some toast, and some paper clips. So the first thing you're going to need is a uh, some of these, a couple of these. Um, I don't know where you could get those. They're kind of rare. The next thing you're going to want to get is some uh, some toast. Some of you may be tempted to use a, a, a waffle. This can cause molecular destabilization, so don't don't do that. Just don't don't do it. Third thing you'll need is your wrapping paper. It's not it does it's not a whole lot. It's just a little bit. You're just gonna want to like just get just get some festive wrapping paper though, because festive wrapping paper facilitates ion energy transfer. So let's just let's just get all this stuff out of the way before we assemble our now reactor. I'm gonna walk you through the assembly of your very own nuclear reactor using everyday household objects. Uh, step one: take your toast and just just place it on your tabletop. It doesn't matter what direction. You can do it that way. You can do it this way. I wouldn't recommend this way just because it's not as stable that way and it tends to cause a little bit of interference with the protons. But You'll, you'll take your your paper clips, and it's very important that you bend them a certain way. These will be your transduction prongs, and you just kind of uh, just, just stick them in in a very orderly fashion, just something like that. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be pretty close. Try to just put them about an inch apart each, because if you put them too close or too far apart, they won't make proper contact. So you just need to keep placing them uniform in a grid about an inch apart. And make sure that they're really stuck in there because when this when this baby starts spinning, it, it, can, it can fall apart. If you want to, you can use a little Elmer's glue to keep them stuck into the toast, but that doesn't always... Uh, that doesn't always hold it in there. I would just recommend just really, really uh, getting them in the toast. Okay, step three involves your festive wrapping paper. Um, just get about a, a one foot long piece of wrapping paper. It, nothing perfect, just kind of just like get some. Um, this is like about a precise one by one square, I'd say. And you're just going to take the toast and uh, you're just going to kind of cradle the toast and the paper clips, your transduction pins, in the wrapping paper. The wrapping paper serves as a protective barrier so that you're not exposed to any harmful radiation or anything of the like. If you've got a little bit extra, just kind of tuck it underneath. Oh, look, one of our paper clips has already fallen out. I should have used some Elmer's glue. But, uh, there, there, there you go. Next step, very important. This is where it all comes together when you start finding out that you can actually create nuclear energy from bread. So you're gonna you're gonna take your your current nuclear reactor and uh this is a little bit illegal so just don't 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 tell nobody but you're gonna put it in um uh, a pot like this. Now you'll need to take exactly one and a half cups of water and put it in there. And this helps to keep the ions active while you're generating nuclear power. And after putting exactly one and a half cups of water, you just want to put it on the stove on medium. See medium? About 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes so far. It's been just sitting there cooking on medium. Uh, after about 15 minutes, you really want to make sure it gets mashed up. So just, just mash it up and stir it up in there. Really good. Until like the, the the toast becomes liquid, like about like this consistency. Just kind of mash it up and get it all stirred up. If the paper clips fall out, don't worry. That's all part of the process. And you're gonna let that cook for about 20 more minutes and just stir all the time. Just stir it. So after cooking it for about 45 minutes and stirring it, you have your nuclear reactor. Uh, here's the electromagnetic fission coil and Whenever you run it by plugging it into whatever you desire, um, 
I'm gonna plug it into this microwave. It's not plugging in because these microwaves are not made to uh, to withstand such high power. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it in the pineapple, and then and then it's just gonna it's just gonna emanate enough nuclear pulses that you can run your own microwave. So this has been Drive Turkey Jukes, teaching you how to make your very own compact nuclear reactor at home. Fairly simple to acquire what you need to build it, just some toast, some paper clips, wrapping paper, and if you do it all right, you can get something that looks like this. You can power your entire home for thousands of years, and if the nuclear fallout happens, it won't be your fault because yours is too small to cause a, a big fallout unless you used an ego, and I fucking told you not to do that. Nuclear work.